everyone, welcome to Inside Guangzhou, your monthly guide to exciting activities and hottest destination in this amazing city. I'm your host Cecilia Li Lingling. Join me as I fill you in on everything you need to know to get the most out of your stay here in Guangzhou. For all these and more, stay tuned to Inside Guangzhou. Guangzhou, also known as Canton, is quickly developing as the premier hub for culture, education, science and technology as well as economy and politics in southern China. Its strategic location near the South China Sea, Hong Kong and Macau has earned it the title as the South Gate of China. Aside from being the third largest city in China, it also has the third longest river in China running through it, the Pearl River. One great thing about traveling in Guangzhou is its efficient transportation system. This is attributed greatly to the orderly planning of roads and the well-developed public transport system. The water bus is one of the most favorite ways to travel in Guangzhou. This ferry ride takes you on a lovely cruise along the Pearl River to your destination. Truly a special way to travel in Guangzhou. Traveling around Guangzhou is fairly easy. With numerous transportation options available, reaching your destination will be a breeze. There are currently 9 subway lines that ply Guangzhou, with 10 more lines to be added into its roster by 2017. It is conveniently connected to almost all important locations in the city, including its neighbor, Foshan City. More than 500 intercity and local bus lines operate in the city, with 80% of it equipped with air conditioning for comfortable travel. Being one of the three busiest airports in China, Guangzhou Baiyun International Airport operates 123 scheduled flights, with 86 of them flying domestic between cities. Traveling around Guangzhou is also possible by train. Depending on your destination, you can take one of its trains operating between the city and other cities like Beijing, Xi'an, Nanjing and Hong Kong. Commuters will be thrilled to know that the Yang Tram system is now up and running from Canton Tower to Wansheng Way. The ride is smooth and the view of the Pearl River is absolutely pleasant. Try it out! You can even go on a leisurely cruise along the Pearl River through the city's 12 ferry bus lines. It's a convenient way to travel if you want to do away with the city traffic. But if you want a more private transportation, you can always opt to take a taxi which is accessible all over the city. For over 2,000 years, Guangzhou has played a big part in the economic, political and cultural landscape of South China. Through all these years, it's accumulated its fair share of architectural and historic treasures that is worth discovering. Xiamen is an elliptical sandbar in the Liwan district of Guangzhou. It has a great historical significance as it served as an important port for Guangzhou's foreign trade and a strategic point of the city's defense during the Second Opium War. As the territory was divided in 1859, France and United Kingdom each took their part. They occupied and made changes to the area, making it a rich foreign enclave. The late 1800s up to the early 1900s saw the rise of more public buildings and private establishments as well. But after 1949, the mansions that become factories were later restored to its former glory. Check out the building's labels to know more about each building's history and function. Uh 
和好晒佢，猜主要就系将嗰啲面咧就先和好晒佢，就等嗰啲每一只鸭蛋只蛋都能够沾到面粉。依家嘅设备比旧阵时嘅设备先进咗好多，悭翻咗好多。所以用竹咧，就竹嘅目的就係等佢，等佢啲根做得韌得耐，佢就會會嗰啲根咧，佢就會慢慢會會嗰、那個彈彈性就越越大。The historical and cultural cities of China, Guangzhou features a lot of attractions that gives you a better glimpse into its amazing past and captivating future. When you're in Guangzhou, don't forget to visit the following must-go attractions. Situated at the Gexin Lu in Guangzhou Hydro District, this pier was formerly built in 1904 by the British company Swire. It has seen centuries of development in the city and is now a protected heritage site. It is now the only pier in China that features a T-shaped pier in China, as well as other artifacts like imported steel with distinctive markings in a foreign language that tells of the city's history. Now, Taigu Chang is established as a center of cultural creativity, trade, tourism, and entertainment, where you can find various cultural events at Guangzhou's most prominent waterfront, and movies being screened at the only seaside theater in the city. It also houses two Five Diamond Star restaurants, serving the freshest seafood and Canton cuisine. It also houses Guangzhou's only professional yacht club, which hosts fairs, sailing cruises, and sailing license trainings. At night, Taigu Chang comes alive with various bars and restaurants that offers the best nightlife spots in the city. Liwan Lake Park is situated at the Liwan district that is part of the Xiguan, which literally means West Gate. So finally we are here. This is the boat, the famous boat on Liwan Lake. Now we're gonna get in. This scenic man-made lake is an oasis for traditional Cantonese landscaped gardens, beautifully incorporated with the view of the lake. So this is the famous Tang Zai Zhou or it offers a myriad of entertainment, sports, travel, and restful activities all in one place. When you visit Guangzhou, it's very hard to miss this towering marvel. Considered as the tallest building in China, it's the Canton Tower where you can take in magnificent views of the city, find the best eating spots, and have the ride of your life. Hi, so finally we're inside the famous Canton Tower. We're currently at 428 meters above ground. And if you're in Guangzhou, it'll be very hard to miss this magnificent piece of architecture. And it's called Xiao Man Yao or Slim Waist by the locals. Our journey begins at the cloud observation deck on the 107th floor, 428 meters above the ground. At this dizzying height, Stepping out onto the glass floor to have your picture taken can take a lot of guts, especially if you don't fancy high places. Ah, look at this! Oh my gosh, look at the view underneath! It, this is breathtaking! Even though I'm not one afraid of heights, but this is still making me feel a little dizzy. So, if you're not already feeling woozy from the altitude, then let's take it up a notch to the 450 meter high outdoor observation deck at Canton Tower. Once you're up here, don't forget to try the bubble tram, the world's highest horizontal ferris wheel. This still doesn't excite you enough? Then push your limits further and take a ride at the world's highest thrill ride. 
Get the ultimate adrenaline rush at the sky drop as you go on a 40 meter free fall drop. And before you go, make sure you check out the Guinness World Record holder for the highest outdoor observation deck at 488 meters above ground. I'm pretty sure that all that sizing has got you hungry, so why not enjoy a sumptuous meal at the Lutetch French Revolving Restaurant while you're taking stunning views of the city in this fine dining ambience. For more food options, head on to Twist Mediterranean Buffet for a casual dining experience set in a sophisticated environment framed by the amazing views of the Guangzhou skyline. So, what are you waiting for? Come on over and experience the thrills here at the Canton Tower. It's bound to be amazing. Spanning 2,214 kilometers, the Pro River is the third largest river in China and the largest in Guangzhou. The Idyllic River is flanked by various views making it an ideal destination for a river cruise. It comes to life at night as thousands of lights sparkle on the river bank. Begin your journey at the White Goose Pool and make your way to the Guangzhou Bridge in the east and Bai He Dong in the south. With stunning views such as the Night Moon over the Goose Pool or the Red Heart of the Pearl River, you will experience the mesmerizing beauty of the Pearl River on this river cruise. Tianxi Wharf As it is the oldest ferry pier in use in Guangzhou, Tianxi Wharf has become the most popular wharf for Pearl River night cruise. The Guangzhou Star Cruises Company, which owns nine different kinds of luxury cruise ships and European-style luxury yacht, is specializing in Pro River Tour, and Guangzhou Star has welcomed many Chinese and foreign guests. On the beautiful Pro River, you can have a good taste of this contemporary city with long history. The Xinghai Concert Hall, which looks like a swan spreading her wings, the new landmark, the Canton Tower, and the Haixingsha Island, you can enjoy the classic Cantonese buffet and fascinating interactive performance. What's more, going to the deck and feel the comfortable breeze is a must. Number 1. Chan Long Located in the Panyu district, Chamlong Resort is a world-class tourist destination that features various themed attractions for the whole family. It's a place where kids and adults can both relax and enjoy doing what they like. Whether it's a fun time in the water, on an adrenaline pumping thrill ride, or in the midst of nature, Chamlong Resort has something special for you. You're watching Insider TV, the insider's guide to the world's most exciting cities. The world is your playground. Discover it with Insider TV. From Shanghai to Singapore, KL to Queenstown, explore the best cities in Asia and beyond with the world's best insider's guide. When you travel, Travel with Insider TV. As the famous saying goes, except the plane and the stool, Guangzhou people pretty much eat everything in the sky and on earth. Well, here at Beiyuan Cuisine, that saying can be any more true. Just look at these sumptuous dim sums and authentic Cantonese cuisine in front of me. I just can't help but dig into them. Now, are you ready for a culinary adventure? Well then come and join me. Let's go take a bite of Guangzhou. Established in the late 1920s, Beiyuan cuisine is well loved by Guangzhou locals. Surrounded by numerous trees, this quaint and quiet Lingnan Garden is known as the wine shop at the mountain front and tea house along the water. This 80-year-old restaurant offers authentic and traditional Guangzhou cuisine, from Guangzhou-style dim sum to various seasonal seafood. Start your journey into Guangzhou cuisine in Beiyuan Restaurant. 
if you're looking to change the way you think about Japanese cuisine, well, check out Fusion Japan, this modern Japanese restaurant. Its modern minimalist design exudes a refreshing ambience that is pure and serene. Its menu is designed by Chef Matthew, which represents the core of Japanese dishes. They use Alaska crab, French foie gras, North Korean sea urchin, Canadian shrimp as the raw material for fresh sushi. And the menu also has typical dish like crispy fried tempura and grilled rubata yaki. Tandoor is an award-winning Indian fine dining restaurant with locations in Shanghai, Beijing, Chengdu and Guangzhou. The Guangzhou branch is conveniently located within walking distance from the Taojin subway station. Indian chefs prepare fresh breads daily with a variety of sumptuous kebabs and curries with spices imported from India. The most popular dishes are tandoor platters, a mix of non-vegetable and vegetable kebabs perfectly marinated and char grilled in a clay oven, and curries, chicken tikka, lamb rogan josh and delicious Indian desserts, while mango lassis and imported Indian beer are the perfect cool refreshments for the tropical Guangzhou weather. Authentic Indian cuisine and great service set an ambience of traditional Indian design and interiors with a Silk Road theme. Set in the beautiful Tai Ku Hui shopping center, Polona Bra House serves up a taste of German right in Guangzhou. The resident Polona brew master crafts the freshest Polona beer on site. And what better way to enjoy Polona beer than with authentic Bavarian food like pork knuckles, German sausages and Wiener schnitzel. Enjoy a dinner inside the restaurant or outside in the beer garden. Either way, be sure to stay around for the live music every night of the week. Osteria Il Mato is Guangzhou's newest Italian fine dining restaurant, where two Italian chefs prepare homemade mozzarella cheese, fresh bread, pasta and desserts daily, creating Guangzhou's most authentic Italian cuisine. A unique tasting experience, thanks to the chef's daily special dishes selection, created from outstanding recipes and mix of original ingredients, combining tradition and fantasy. These dishes can be perfectly paired with a wide selection of premier Italian wines. Enjoy this fine dining experience indoors or outdoors in an intimate dining environment. Guangzhou provides an abundance of various activities during the day. It also provides a wide range of entertainment options for a fun night out in the city. Whether you're just looking for a quaint spot where you can just chill alone or with friends, or just a place to kick off your shoes and let it all loose, Guangzhou has the perfect place for all your nightlife needs. Well, here the Mr. Pilot is getting more and more popular these days, so tonight I'm here to check it out. Located on Xingsheng Road, Mr. Pilot is an appealing bar featuring flying culture. From all kinds of aeroplane-themed videos to plane models and photos to uniformly and handsomely dressed waiters, these are all the reasons why Mr. Pilot is always packed with visitors. Here at Mr. Pilot, you never run out of pleasant surprises. Salads, main courses, steaks, and even drinks. And you know what's most special about this place? Whenever airline stewardesses come with their work IDs, drinks for them are free. Everyone calls this bar the bar that airline hosts are in love with. The nightlife happens a door. Well, Mr. Pilot just made me a special drink. So, cheers. The Brew is one of the few authentic-owned and run Western-style restaurants and bars. The Zhujiang Newtown location features Asia's very first table taps, where you can pour your own beer right from the comfort of your table. The Jianshe Lu and Pan Yu location features live music several nights a week to keep the party going into the early morning. A classic American menu which boasts the best burgers and chicken wings in town. The food here has been a favorite with locals and expats for years, and their wide range of cocktails and imported beers are the perfect way to wind down after a long day. See you there! 
Collins Irish Pub provides the longest happy hour in town from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Along with a whole range of delicious food options, you can see the whole process of cooking a well-selected steak by the chef before sitting back and catching the biggest live sporting events. Later in the evening, head up to the second floor and catch some of Guangzhou's best live music. The friendly service and relaxed environment at Macaulay's is a treat for any traveler. So come and enjoy the good food, good drinks and make some new friends as one of Guangzhou's most happening bars. If you're a first-time traveler to Guangzhou and are in search of the best shopping destination in town, you will definitely hear of Beijing Lu, one of the busiest pedestrian walks in the city. Here, you find both fashionable and traditional items both sold in one place. Now, are you ready to shop till you drop? Let's go! Tmall is the most well-known with new brands and five-star cinema, shopping, business, entertainment, sizing and exhibition all in one building. Looking for some luxurious goods? Come to Tai Ku Hui in Tianhe Road. It is said to become a social, shopping and lifestyle destination for the new generation. Dating back to the 11th and 14th century, Beijing Row has many different kinds of stores, shopping malls and delicious street foods, and so much more that you just can't miss. Shangxia Zhou Pedestrian Street is a showcase of a traditional Cantonese architecture and is specifically magical at night. Prices here are generally lower than Beijing Road, but be prepared to bargain. Get ready as Asia's dancing queen, Jolin Tsai, hosts another must-see concert at the Guangzhou International Sports Arena on July 4th. On July 5th, Berlin Philharmonic Brass will be performing diverse brass music from the traditional work of the Baroque and Classical eras at the Guangzhou Opera House. One of the most dynamic and poetic string quartets of today, Navara String Quartet will be hosting a recital at the Guangzhou Opera House on the 10th of July. Tickets available at en.demai.cn The greatest pianist of his day, Lu Shikin, will be playing at the Guangzhou Opera House on the 12th of July. Don't miss the opportunity to see this genuine first-class performance live. Today's most sought-after conductor, Charles de Troyes, together with the National Youth Orchestra of USA and Chinese classical pianist Yundi, will host their highly anticipated concert at the Guangzhou Xinghai Concert Hall on July 24th. Watch the heart-stopping music and dance spectacular Heartbeat of Home, running from July 23rd to 26th at the Guangzhou Opera House. Don't miss out. Tickets available at en.demai.cn. Expect an out-of-the-ordinary guitar quartet performance on the 26th of July from the EOS Guitar Quartet at the Guangzhou Opera House. Don't miss the International Champions Cup match between Real Madrid and International Milano at the Tianhe Sports Centre on 27th July. Book your tickets now! Jiangsu Performing Arts Group, Kun Opera, will stage the 1966 poignant story of love, the peach blossom fan at the Guangzhou Opera House on the 31st of July. Next time you travel to Singapore, there's one attraction you might not find in your guidebook, but you absolutely have to give it a go. If you're in Singapore on a Friday or Sunday and are looking for a great time with a difference, hop onto an MRT or a cab and take an easy ride to the Singapore Turf Club. Next to Kranji MRT on the North-South Line and just 20 to 30 minutes taxi from the city, Singapore Turf Club offers so much more than a day at the races. The club has a whole range of activities, venues, dining and lifestyle options. It's guaranteed fun whatever the weather. Before or even during the races, try the karting circuit, designed by world-renowned F1 circuit designer Herman Teek. 
the carts can go as fast as 100 kilometers per hour, so it's not for the faint-hearted. The club itself is split over four levels. If you're traveling in a large group, experience the races in absolute luxury and book a table in a box on level 4 with drinks and delicious meals all included. Watch the action unfold from the comfort of your table with your friends or step outside onto the balcony for the best view in the house. Oh, and remember, dress to impress! The owner's lounge here on level 3 is a more informal affair where the tables are arranged comfortably so you're guaranteed to not miss a thing. There's great food and drinks on tap here and the atmosphere when the horses are crossing the line is simply electric. Whether you're hankering for some Western comfort food or feel like experiencing a taste of the Orient, the Owner's Lounge has you covered with a full menu of Western and Eastern favorites, not to mention a well-stocked bar serving an excellent selection of wine, drought beer and cocktails, served in a great space with huge floor-to-ceiling windows that'll make you feel like you're right next to the race itself. In between the races, you can get up close and personal to the horses and the jockeys. Tell you what, you don't realize how big they are until you're right next to them. The parade ring is a hub of activity between races. It's a great place to get a feel for the raw energy and passion that goes into each event. But of course, during the race, there is no better place to be than right in the middle of the action. Trackside is where you find all the hardcore fans and where the atmosphere is best at the club. Come on! This July 12th, the Singapore Turf Club will play host to some of the world's best jockeys and horses as the 20th Emirates Singapore Derby comes to town. The time-honored classic, run over 2,000 meters, was first run in 1880 and now has prize money totaling over $1,150,000. Experience one of the international racing calendar's top events at the Singapore Turf Club, the Emirates Singapore Derby. Now that you've seen what this magnificent city has to offer, it's now your turn to go out and explore. Join me again next month as I give you the latest information on what's in and what's hot in this fascinating city of Guangzhou. I've been your host, Cecilia Li Lingling. See you next time. Bye-bye. Wow, we're finally going to Guangzhou. Since we have the KTT to go to Guangzhou, we can go to Guangzhou from Hong Kong. Guangzhou, known as Yangsheng, Wuyangsheng, Huasheng. For the most part of the world, this is a global economic center. It's the most popular foreign exchange in the world, and it's the most popular foreign exchange in the world. And for my brother, Michael, my brother will go to the United States. 就住喺呢條巷噶，嚇真係噶？哇！呢度應該好得意啊！爺爺喺度住咗幾廿年啦。之前啲老人家成日講食在廣州，自古以嚟廣州都係嶺南地區嘅美食之都。從新城區走到老城區，到處都揾到美味嘅小食
一个城市都有自己嘅故事，而广州嘅特别之处就仍然可以保存住一个传统嘅信仰，延续千年嘅文化。所以喺生活节奏最快嘅城市，同时拥有最漫长嘅光辉。真係好好玩噶！我而家開始有啲唔捨得走啊！傻仔嚟嘅，廣州係我哋嘅家，我哋嘅根永遠都喺呢度，我哋隨時都可以翻屋企噶嘛。咁啊係，好，我決定我哋好快好快就會再翻嚟玩。好，我陪住你。你話㗎？係。嘿嘿嘿哦 ！Wow，this is awesome！ 